Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Savannah, and I'm the travel blogger at SLC Travel. thought today, since I do live in Washington, D.C., I could show you guys kind of a 24 hours in D.C., what to do, what to eat, where to go. So that's what we're going to do today, and we're going to start off with getting breakfast and coffee, of course, and then I'll take you guys to some of my personal favorite spots in the city and if I was a tourist this is where I would go then we'll grab maybe a snack and then I'll show you where to go for dinner so literally if you're in DC for 24 hours this is what you need to do let's go so I'm in the car ready to go to our first stop which is going to be a bakery and cafe for breakfast I'm driving my car there I would recommend for you guys visiting definitely take the metro and you could probably even walk there from whatever hotel you're at it's in a really good location but if not metro would be the easiest and cheapest way to get there as well I got my coffee and I'm back in my car and ready to go to the next stop which now we'll be going into more of the tourist spots which if you're in DC for a day you definitely need to see especially if you've never seen them before but even if you have you just can't go wrong they're beautiful locations everything's in walking distance so I'll take you guys there first and then we'll go to some other places that you might not already know about <laughs> that starts at the Capitol building and ends at the Lincoln Memorial with a whole bunch of monuments, museums, the White House, parks, in between that two mile stretch. It's just a beautiful place to walk, especially on a day like today. And to sightsee, it has all of Washington DC's most famous monuments within the two mile stretch. It's amazing. I just came from the Washington Monument and I'm headed towards the Lincoln Memorial right now. So now I am at the Tidal Basin, which is a super easy walk from the National Mall. And particularly, if you're at the Lincoln Memorial, it's super easy. Just cross a few roads and you're here. This is where the famous cherry blossoms bloom in the springtime. All of these trees behind me are cherry blossoms. And if you look across the pond here, there is the Jefferson Memorial. Just kind of a loop around this whole lake. It's super beautiful, especially in the springtime for the cherry blossoms, but even right now, just super nice walk. Alrighty, I'm back in the car. It is around 1.30 p.m. Just visited the monument, walked down the National Mall, made it to the Tidal Basin. I have to drive to our next stop because it's a little out of like the downtown area. So we're gonna go to Georgetown. If you love to shop and eat good food, this is definitely the place for you. So I figured we would end our day kind of there, maybe check out some of the shops, and then go to one of my favorite restaurants in the city because it's in Georgetown. Let's go check it out and then grab dinner later. that goes along this canal but they actually do boat tours in, which is a really cool kind of option if you want to see Georgetown from that way and then the shops are that way waterfronts that way I'm gonna go check out both for you guys
shopping and got some things for my upcoming travels that I'm really excited about. But I think I'm just gonna head home now. It's been fun kind of exploring my own city. I haven't done that in a while and showing you guys where I would go if I were a tourist with 24 hours in DC. so fun to take you guys with me and show you where I would go if I were someone coming to DC for the first time. Comment below if you have any questions. I could do a part two easily because I didn't even cover half of DC's best places, like not even close. <laughs> Comment below if you'd like to see a part two of this. Stay tuned and thank you guys for watching. See you later.